She made waves last year for speaking out during a Minneapolis press conference following the death of George Floyd. Take a look. Black people are in a state of an emergency. We are in a state of emergency. Black folks in America. And those who support us need to understand the depth of the state of emergency. And it didn't just start today, but it is at a critical point. We are at a point when folks grandmothers all the way down to little babies are tired. Mm -hmm. People realize that this attack that we're under, I heard someone saying on TV today that it feels like every black person in America is being hunted. Well, it's been almost a year now since civil rights activist Tamika Mallory delivered that powerful speech. And not only does she declare a state of emergency then, but she's doing so in her first book. It's called State of Emergency, How We Win in the Country We Built. And she is here now. Tamika Mallory, it is good to see you. How you doing, young lady? Thank you all so much for having me on. <laughs> now, we saw that clip there. A lot of people will remember it. And your, your, your face and your voice has uh, really been prominent over the past year. But you talk about black folks being in a state of emergency now. Uh, some might ask, well, when will we ever not in a state of emergency to some degree in this country? What do you mean now is such a critical time? Well, I think I also say that it's a critical moment. Um, and I think that what makes it critical is that people have decided uh, that we're not going to sit by and continue to allow these things that we're feeling and uh, these really terrible incidents to continue. Uh, and obviously other folks from outside of our communities are beginning to see and understand it and have also become a part of an uprising. I think we are at a boiling point uh, when we see cities burning, it reminds me of other times in history where uh, we've had similar incidents, which really meant that there had to be some level of change. And I think we're in a space now where, where it feels almost like some want to take us back when we're not even as far forward as we should be. But certainly in this moment, um, we're going to have to push past this particular time and make sure that there's some accountability or else I fear what will happen in this country. There was some accountability there with the murder of George Floyd. Derek Chauvin found guilty on all counts. Surely that was a victory. But where do we go from there? What still needs to happen now? Well, certainly there should not be complacency because of one verdict and one family receiving some form of accountability. Um, we also have <coughs> trials coming up for the other three individuals um, who were there, officers who stood by and did nothing. And that reminds me very much of uh, the issue that we have with police departments in general, that we are always told there's constantly this narrative that all police are not bad, all police are not bad apples, but too many are standing by doing nothing while um, our people are being murdered, while people are being harmed and abused. And I think that in this moment where we see, you know, as we have a new administration in office, um, things have sort of changed in terms of the political power within this country. It's the time for us to really push the gas and force this administration to do what uh, for some may feel difficult. It may even feel impossible, but it is possible if people make a, a statement and a decision to be 10 toes down and not to fold and allow compromise to get in the way of true progress. You have been tireless from the moment I have met you and you keep at it. So it is good to see you here. I know we'll see you down the road and congratulations on the book, all right? You know how much I love and appreciate you and it's good to see you as well. All right. Thank you all so much. All right, Tamika, <laughs> thank you. And folks, you can get State of Emergency, How We Win in the Country We Built, available now anywhere that books are sold. And she has been at it. She has been yes. nonstop from yep. the moment I met her. So She's on a mission. Uh, she is. She is. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.